I'm going to show you how to wrap a gift. Um, of course, you're going to need wrapping paper. You're going to need scissors. Um, these just happen to be my old kids' safety scissors. You definitely want a longer pair of scissors. If you have a lot of gifts to wrap, then it makes it a little bit easier. And you're going to need some kind of tape. Uh, this is the Scotch brand tape that I've got here. But you're going to need some kind of tape. And this is my wrist tape. And of course you need a box or a present of some kind. And this is what we're going to be wrapping. you want to do is you want to roll your wrapping paper out. Um, once you roll it out, you kind of want to get an idea of how much wrapping paper you're going to need. So what I do is I scoot it down to the edge like this. So that way I have plenty of, of wrapping paper and then I look at the size and you want to make sure on the end that's you know already cut or whatever you want to make sure that this is about halfway up so I kind of eyeball it to where about where halfway up is so that's about halfway and I just lift it and make sure it's about halfway then when I come over to my other side to go cut this side, I kind of get a halfway mark, and that's about halfway, and I take my finger and kind of give myself a guideline of where I need to cut it. So I'm going to say about right here, because we can always adjust it a little bit, and then so that way I have my sides. To figure out how much I need to go around my gift, I'm going to go just like this with the rolled side. Can y'all see that? The top piece, I kind of bring this up over and then this over like this and I bring it taut. I bring this in kind of taut. You can see where the corner is. Y'all see that? And then I bring this up over like that. And with both sides kind of pulled taut, I go and you can see about right there is where it's going to cover my present and I don't have to worry about it. But I'm going to go in a little bit. I'm going to allow myself a little bit of room just in case I cut it crooked. So now that I have my cut marks, I'm going to cut it. my piece <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it around like so and you want to kind of match your edges up now I see that I have cut this uneven so what I'm going to do is kind of fold it and make it straight. There we go. And then I'm going to make sure it's even on the end where it's not overlapped. I'm just going to keep pressing that until it gets as flat as that paper will let me. And this is not heavy paper, this is kind of a thin paper, so I've got to be careful with it too that I don't rip it because it's so thin. 
And now with both sides pulled taut, I'm going to add a piece of tape. On my ends, you can do it two, one of two ways. Well, we're going to do it this way. You come down and see where it's covering half of the box. And then you're going to come to the ends and you're going to pull those really... See what I'm doing? And the crisper you make your edges and then you're going to fold it in and it's going to kind of make, when you come around that box, it's going to make another little thing. And the key to all of this is to make sure that you really flatten it down. This is thin paper, but if it was thick paper, then you would definitely need to really press it to make sure. And then we're going to come up on the end, like so. And we're going to tape it again. And if you feel like I've got a little bit of gap there, so I could definitely put another piece of tape there if I needed to. What y'all think I am? You know, anywhere where you see a big gap, you want to do that. And then we're going to do the same thing here. You're going to come down and get your edges. get them nice and, and crisp and then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing and then I'm going to bring it over and then it's going to make another edge for you going to bring that side up and put another piece of tape and you have a wrap gift and there's your wrap gift um, it's really simple to wrap a gift you use the same concept whether it's a small gift or a thin gift or Rounded gifts are a little bit harder, um, and I don't have all the supplies to do a round gift, but like a ball or something, you might want to stick it in a bigger box instead of wrapping it so the kids don't know it's a ball, because if it's round, they're going to figure it out. But it's really simple to do a gift, and it's all making sure that your, your edges are crisp. That's the key, is making your edges crisp. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back now. Y'all here?